Hey guys, John here. Um, and in this video, I want to talk about a little something that I talked about a while in a video a while back. Um, about um, different kind of flavors of D&D, like uh, the Spelljammer setting, Planescape setting, you know, Ravenloft. And I was just wondering, how do you guys do fantasy? Do you guys do it very traditional, you know, Tolkien-like, or um, do you guys kind of go off on the kind of the weird path and do, you know, like kind of, kind of do like some Lovecraft stuff or some, yeah, or like more kind of borderline science fiction and fantasy, you know? Or do you guys also do it kind of strict uh, medieval? Do you guys just kind of like medieval society? you do this? You know, like, is it something like that? Or, I'm just wondering, I'm just wondering how different people kind of treat fantasy. If they treat it kind of very, you know, dark, like, like dark fantasy. Like, like if you guys ever played the Witcher games, do you guys treat it like that? Or do you guys kind of treat it like lighthearted, like kind of like The Hobbit? Um, I would say, I, in this argument, I would say that I kind of fall more on the um, weird kind of fan like medieval fantasy mixed kind of science fiction kind of end um, just because a lot of my stuff tends to be that way um, and it's just because that's just my default mood I mean I grew up with my wa watching TV with my dad and what we would watch you know we, we would watch Star Trek we'd watch Stargate Sliders you know, we'd watch all the science fiction programming, and then we would watch stuff like Hercules or Xeno Warrior Princess, you know. You know, that type of fantasy stuff. Excuse me, as I take a drink of my delicious dew. It's delicious. And it comes from, it comes from the Mountain Dwarves. And I have my window open. Enjoy that. Oh yeah, um, but yeah, and also, on that note, um, I've got also an idea, um, if you, like, and kind of where I'm getting on this, like, take things, you don't have to take things like, you know, you don't have to have spell jammers in your setting to make it, you know, like a, sci a, a science fiction thing. I'm also talking about, like, the plots in your, in your campaigns, or, the, you know, the story. Are they very kind of typical fantasy? You know, are they, they go rescue the princess from the dragon? Actually, that's another thing. Who actually has their players re rescue princesses? I want to know, because I don't. <laughs> but uh, yeah, but you know, it could be something like that. Or it could be, you know, kill the evil wizard, which uh, I, I've done that. I've also done Tiamat. Fun times, fun times. But also, but do you guys think of more kind of on a science, like, kind of more of the science fiction writer side, where it's like, like, a utopia, but it's kind of like a more, more, you know, the more dystopia, like, uh, like, kind of what I have an idea of is a city that's a beautiful, picturesque, luxurious city, or Columbia from Bioshock Infinite, which, actually, that's a good idea, um, well, you know, it's just, it's this beautiful city and it's technologically advanced, you know, and, and in this city, you know, there, there's magic and technology, however, you know, they, <laughs> those people don't like each other, but, um, you know, it's also built on the back of slaves, but yeah, but yeah, so, it's this beautiful city and it, they do great things in this city, however, you know, it's, there's slavery, there's, it's bigotry, it's, you know, pe people are each other's throats, you know, ma majors and engineers don't, you know, just people don't get along. Well, for the most part, like, the big wigs, you know, up at the top don't get along, but the people could care less, you know. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, and definitely I want to hear kind of twists you guys put on, um, put on role-playing games. You know, it does not just have to be D&D, hell, you, you can put twists too. Call of Cthulhu, you know, they make their money off those those things. But yeah, I really just want to hear what your idea of fantasy is, whether it be you know traditional Tolkien or 
crazy Gygaxian craziness. <laughs> exactly. And you can do that, you know, you can leave a comment down below, you can send a message to me, um, you can make a video response, that'd be really cool. Um, but yeah, I, I, I want to hear your thoughts on this, guys. Anyway, I'm John, and happy gaming.